Whether you're looking for a piece of permanent art on your skin or something more temporary, Mindy and Mark has you covered. Now we're continuing our series on body art and fading taboo on tattoos. Today we're introducing you to this local gym in Fountain Square changing up the traditional tattoo studio with a focus on community and culture. Mindy is another word for henna, and marked is just another way of saying tattoos. Just the merging of art forms, um, that's what she's been doing for 10 years, that's what I've been doing for six years. Um, I was getting tattooed since I was 18, you know, around here. And yeah, when I was getting tattooed back then, it was a little more like you had to know where to go and, and who to go to. But when I started tattooing, it was pretty open to everybody, where I think it was, the stigma was kind of gone, and I think there's more shops like this opening up that are welcoming to a lot of people, a wide variety of, of people. In the last six years, I think um, definitely tattoos have become more and more popular. So henna is actually made from a plant. It's all natural, um, but it stains the dead layers of skin. And so that's why as the skin sheds, it goes away. It is used in a lot of different cultures to celebrate, to um, memorialize things. Um, it's very common in the Indian culture for weddings, as well as the Pakistani culture and Arabic culture. Just lots of different um, cultures use it. So it's a temporary stain that does fade over um, about a week and a half, two weeks. Yeah, we have a lot of clients who will test out designs with henna and then come back and get them tattooed. Um, a process that we kind of do is you can use the henna as a stencil, right? So even if the person comes in and while the stain is still on, we can tattoo over that stain and it be exactly what they want. So we've had a lot of clients that will come in and try out a piece, adjust it, try out a piece, adjust it, and then finalize it and get it tattooed. And it definitely merges kind of the two clientele because we do have a, like a, our, we run our business the same, you know. Um, but the clientele is very different, and I think the merging of those two has been uh, eye-opening and very like welcoming. Yeah, I think it's really unique to have both so that people can try something out temporarily and then tweak it, add some things, or change it entirely and be able to wear it for a little bit before committing. A lot of the clients that I've heard are um, not very comfortable getting a tattoo, but very comfortable getting a henna. So I think this is a good introduction to show them that this is how you know they can be comfortable getting a tattoo as well. The Fountain Square community is very art-centered and very community-based. As a fresh business coming in, you know, especially with another tattoo shop that's uh, right down the road, um, it's been very welcoming, and the community has been, I mean, the best part. You know, this job is all word of mouth, no matter what you know, uh, social media says. It's all word of mouth kind of business, and I feel like we got extremely lucky with where we're at.